Hey there, welcome back to another ROM review for Redmi Note 6 Pro. So today we have Havoc OS and uh, Havoc OS, uh, today I'm going to review it's based on Android 11 and there is no new uh, update for that ROM, it, it is on Android 11. But if you want Android 13 based ROM, you can go with a few ROMs like Evolution X, CL Royal or Dripfest. But if you want a stable ROM which can run very well, then I, I will suggest you to install android 11 based rom not only havoc os you can go with arrow os or c android or many other os but android 11 is much better on redmi note 6 pro than android 13. so let's go and check out what we are getting with this rom first of all uh, uh let's check the fingerprint so as you can see it is really fast the fingerprint is really fast on this rom and it can unlock each and every time you will have no issue with fingerprint on this rom there are bugs but not the major one that you can't use this rom the the bugs are quite uh normal one so you can still use this rom without any kind of issue so in the home screen it's pixel uh based rom so we are getting pixel launcher here and in the app section we have few other apps here as you can see few of the apps i have installed like camera here gcam have installed and also safety nest also youtube this these three of them i have installed but then that all all of them are stock and these are few apps that came with this rom so first of all let's check the camera so the built-in camera is actually MIUI camera which is really fast and fluid as you can see it's working just fine there is no issue everything works fine even um as you can see manual mode and everything everything just smooth battery smooth on this rom and if i open gcam gcam also work perfectly fine so one of the benefit of having this rom actually is with camera basically because the camera actually works perfectly fine on this rom i have installed few other roms on this device based on android 13 12 and in different kind of roms but most of them have some issue with camera but in this rom i haven't faced any kind of issue with them and i have recorded video and uploaded videos on youtube too so i haven't faced any kind of issue with this rom so going to the setting let's check the version and other things so did we not see and if we go to android version as you see have a cos android 11 and android security patch level is july 5 2023 which is not really a or really old one actually if you if you think about android 11 because which will launch three years ago but still uh, the security patch level is uh, quite uh, latest one here but as i said you can go with android 13 there are a lot of rom available which will provide you uh, august security patch and latest update but those uh, ones will be a little bit bulky and you will have few issue with uh, performance and let's go as you can see android 11 and if you go with other things like we have few other things here and there are uh, like ui changes you can make with from configuration setting a lot of things you can do and if you go to miscellaneous there are a few things you can do like you can turn on the gaming mode here so you can do your if you want to play games on this rom you can do it too and also there are a few things actually like you can uh, use ambient display which is not really a good thing for this kind of devices uh, because it will um, reduce battery backup and if you go to status bar section you can do all sorts of things you can do with other roms and there are battery saving things where you can directly block all the sensors and also kill the background processes which is really nice touch actually and also if you go to media section there are music visualizer also a few more things here you can go with screen you can do few more things here and one more thing about this rom actually it comes with uh, show me parts option so although the calibration i have done already as i do with my redmi note 8 and few other devices even in redmi note 6 pro but the calibration here is not really good uh, although uh, as you can see it's, it's not the display is calibrated still i am having a skin retention issue on this rom uh, not really a major bug as i said few bugs are here and there but not really a major bug but still it is there if you don't like skin retention you can move to other rom but uh, there are skin retention on this front and there are few more things which actually not present in redmi note 6 pro but it is present in this room like clear speaker which i have seen in my redmi note 8 uh, redmi note 8 and this is it's 
uh, it's here too so you can if you if you want to clean your speaker you can do that too other than that there is nothing new it's purely stock you will not see anything much here but if i go to hotspot section maybe you can share 5 gigahertz band here so share phone so let's let's um open mobile data maybe connect by wi-fi hotspot section let's go to wi-fi hotspot if we go to wi-fi hotspot section we can select the band here so you can either choose 5 gigahertz band or 2 gigahertz band is up to you so it's nice touch actually most of the roms actually doesn't come with the dual band feature but if you want it it is present in this rom too and few other things uh, like in these roms is that uh, if you go to the battery section you will see the battery temperature which you will see on other devices too and also maybe you can manage your battery uh, like battery health with mm, some of the settings like you can kill the background process and other things to reduce background uses and other things and if you go with the performance as you can see it's fluid no issue with that and also if you are using google photos if you you will get unlimited storage with this rom so you can upload as much as you can and if you go to go with safety net i don't really recommend anyone to install any kind of banking apps on this kind of rom like custom roms or whatever rom is it don't use any kind of even if it safety net pass i don't really recommend anyone uh in this rom actually if i check safety net it's actually failed safety net pass is uh, test is failed be so it is not really recommend to install any kind of banking apps here even safety net pass still i don't really recommend anyone to install any kind of banking apps on this rom basic basic use are uh, you can do it pretty smoothly here Rather than these two bugs like screen retention and uh, safety net fail, there is no issue with this ROM. I haven't faced any kind of issue. Everything works as intended and it's it's really fine. And also, if as you can see here, the SIM, I have put a SIM card here and I've been using SIM card on this ROM. And as you can see, VoLT is present in this ROM. Some of the ROMs coming with Android 13, you will not get VoLT. But in this ROM, you are getting VoLT and it's working just fine. As it, there is no issue with this ROM actually, rather than the screen retention and safety net you can fix the safety net issue with magics i haven't i haven't installed any kind of magics here so if you want install magics you may fix the safety net issue but i don't really recommend anyone to do that too so no use of those kind of thing but anyway if you want a clean rom which will give you good performance you will not see like major bugs i would say go with this rom based on android 11 that's not because even though it's running on Android 11, most of the apps are com uh, compatible with this ROM. You will have no issue with uh, app compatibility. So everything works just fine with this ROM. There is no issue as such. And I will put the ROM link in the description below. You can download it from there. Also, uh, the Gcam, which is I'm using in this ROM. I'll put the, put the Gcam link also in the description below. You can download it from there. And if you are looking for the flashing guide, flashing guide is really simple. It's always the same as other roms or other devices you will get a lot of tutorials online you can download and you can watch one of those and just flash the rom but clean flash is recommended don't do dirty flash if you do dirty flash you will get major bugs with this rom this kind of rom so that's all about hubbock was for redmi note 6 pro thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time